In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then verse 2, He was with God in the beginning. And then I move to verse 4, In Him was life, and that life was the light of all people. And then verses 6 and 7, There came a man who was sent from God, his name was John, he came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all people might believe. Won't you all stand with us as we sing together, O come, all ye faithful.
Okay, friends, our next reading comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. Okay, so here goes the story of the golden lantern. Once upon a time there was a girl who had shining eyes. She lived alone in a house at the edge of the forest. Her sole inheritance was a golden lantern. And the light of the golden lantern was always shining. And so each day she brought fresh water from the stream for cooking and washing. She tended her garden. She collected fallen branches for her fire. And as she went about these things, she always took the golden lantern with her. The creatures of the forest were her friends. They were made welcome in her house, and what food she had, she shared with them. But as she grew older, the light of her eyes grew dim. And so one evening in fall when she was in the forest and it grew dark, she noticed that her golden lantern was not shining as brightly as it had been. One evening when she was gathering food for the fire, she met a traveler and asked him, Why are you going through the forest with no lantern, and yet the way is bright for you? He answered her, I am the king's son. I live on the other side of the forest at the foot of the mountain of the sun. I have come to see the girl with the golden lantern and shining eyes, because they do not shine as brightly as they once did. Oh, but it is only my golden lantern that is growing dim, she said. Will you help me rekindle it with a spark from the sun? If that is your wish, come with me, he said. He held out his hand, and together they went through the forest. At last they came to the foot of the mountain of the sun and began to climb. They climbed higher and higher and higher. The stars were sparkling and smiling as they made their way toward the top of the mountain. When they neared the peak and reached a small plateau, the prince said, You must go the rest of the way by yourself. I will wait here. So on she went. It was a steep climb, and she had to crawl on her hands and knees. Finally, she reached the peak of the mountain of the sun. The first rays of dawn were at hand, and reds and yellows and purples and pinks were dancing across the sky. And, when this, and then the sky filled with golden light, and the warm face of the sun was shining over the world. She called out, Sun, my lantern needs kindling. Please send a spark of your light that it may brighten my way in the dark world. The sun looked down and said, My light is always shining, even when you cannot see it. It is always with you. So look at your lantern, my child. Look, it shines brightly. And as long as the light shines in your heart, the light in your lantern will shine, and all will be well. Thank you, sun, she said, and she started down. When she came to the prince, she saw his eyes were shining. Then she took his hand, and they went down the mountain. And so, friends, I think that Christmas reminds us uh, of Jesus the light. You remember that passage from John's Gospel that we've read earlier on, the light of the world shines. And just like the sun, that light shines always, always. The sun is always there shining and the lantern is like our witness to the world about the the sun shining the light that is in our witness about the light that is in the world and sometimes it is possible that our lanterns can go out too and the only reason they go out is because the light that is in our hearts start going out and so christmas reminds us to fill our hearts again with the light from the sun so that our witness can be as bright as it can be 
just like our lanterns later on tonight, will shine in the dark and remind us of the light that has come into the world. Amen. Taken from a gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 10. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed.
Our next reading, taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the place, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. precious little boy. The prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. Very well-known passage of scripture. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
back. Uh, please, would everybody stand as we sing our next? John 1 verse 14 the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us we have seen his glory the glory of the one and only son who came from the father full of grace and truth and then we read from Zechariah rejoice greatly daughter Zion shout daughter Jerusalem see your king comes to you righteous and victorious lowly and riding on a donkey on a colt the foal of a donkey please would you all stand with us one two three four <laughs> Thank you. 
next reading is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. And from John, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. the end. 